Hallå! Welcome to the 2013 PK session. Uh, I'm Max Jenke from Endeavour Snowboards and we're here in the Archetype Snowboard Lab uh, to tell you a little bit about the next series. Hi, my name is Jason Bros. I'm the head of R&D and production for Endeavour Snowboards. Here we are in the Archetype Lab. Today we're here to talk to you more specifically about the next series. The next is the most all-mountain uh, free ride board in the Endeavour line. And what that means is it's got a directional shape, so it's meant to be ridden one way most of the time. It does have a tail, so you can ride it switch as well. Uh, the tail is tapered, so which means that it's narrower than the nose of the board. And what that does is it allows the tail of the board to sink and the nose to rise up, so you don't have to lean so far back when you're riding soft snow and powder. Hi, my name is Shane Campos. I'm a snowboarder. This is the board uh, uh, that I choose to ride, which is the Endeavour Next Series. Um, it's a pretty good all-around board for, I just sort of like to have, in most conditions, one snowboard that uh, will perform in all sorts of snow. My name's Rory Doyle and I'm a, uh, an artist for Endeavour Snowboards. On a high level for this year, for the next, what we wanted to do was um, pull stuff, you know, pull inspiration from old kind of beer cans, pop cans that you can see back in the, the 60s. Just to speak to that kind of old kind of can or beer design or whatever, we got the logo with the black castle because it's just, you know, it speaks to some of the, the types of, of brews, I guess, and then it's a premium stock which plays into the, the actual stock of the wood. This board specifically has a uh, bamboo top sheet. It's one of the most noticeable things on the board. By replacing a plastic top sheet with a natural bamboo one, we're able to increase the pop of the board because the bamboo fibers go from tip to tail. It makes the board stronger, it makes the board snappier, it makes it much more fun. It's got triax glass on the bottom and biax 2 glass on the top. What that allows the board to do is just be stiff enough but also torsionally forgiving enough for this kind of board. So if you're really into powder, you're into free riding, maybe just cruising around the hill, you're not really into park, this board comes in camber, but also a reverse camber profile in a 159, which is great for deep snow. Um, so yeah, this is the next series. <laughs>